Let's get more on our main news. That Nigel Farage says he would be happy to be Britain's ambassador to the United States after the president-elect Donald Trump said on Twitter he'd do a great job. The government ins is insisting there is not a vacancy. Well, we can talk to William Dartmouth, the UKIP trade spokesman and MEP for the South West and Gibraltar. He joins us now from Strasbourg. Thank you very much. Um, well, what Good do morning. You, what do you Good think? Morning. Should he be um, Britain's ambassador th to the United States? Yeah, absolutely, yes, and this is why. The, 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 and, 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 uh, and this is why the, the, the government have completely mishandled their relationships with Donald Trump. Nine, according to the Sunday Telegraph, nine out of 23 cabinet, minister, cabinet ministers made, including the Prime Minister and the Foreign Secretary, made violently critical comments about, about, about Donald Trump. And so we start off with two sets down in a five-set match. And the special relationship is very, very important to the UK, and particularly important to the UK on Brexit. The appointment of Nigel Farage would be a way of putting this right, and we would start off on an even keel and even a little bit ahead. Whatever you think, it is, it, sorry. Is, it is in the national interest. Whatever you think about the way the, the, the government has handled um, the, the rise of Donald Trump and what that potentially means for the future. Badly, it do badly. But it doesn't badly lose, and incorrectly. But it doesn't lose the right to decide who is the British ambassador. What, what gives Donald Trump the right to, to tell Britain what to do? No, Donald Trump doesn't have that right, and of course the government has that right. But what they should do is they should make a rational decision in the national interest, and the rational decision in the national interest is to... Is, is to appoint Nigel Farage. And it's not just me saying it, which I said, said about two weeks ago. It, it, it's now Donald Trump saying it. And by the way, there's a clear precedent of that. If we go back to the days of Jack Kennedy, um, David Ormsby Gore was appointed a British ambassador in uh, Washington simply because he'd been a friend of Jack Kennedy's. And so there's an ample precedent for it. What matters is the British national interest, not, not, not the not the egos of the government and not the egos of the Foreign Office. Um, former UK ambassador in Washington, Sir Christopher Mayer, says um, the UK ambassador in, in Washington exists to defend UK interests in the US, not US interests in the UK. You cannot have U foreign presidents deciding who our ambassador should be. Well, first of all, Sir Christopher Mayer, who's, 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 who's a Foreign Office man, and a very distinguished one at that, he would say that, wouldn't he? And I, but, but also more to the point. But, is, but we, do you really we, want to yes? If, if, over that I mean, the point, point is, but, it's about defending British interests, not having a yes man there who's going to say what what the president wants to hear. N N Nigel, Nigel Farage is nobody's yes man, and I would also say that Nigel Farage is the most patriotic person that, that, that I know, and he would be the not just the obvious appointment, but the outstanding appointment. And frankly, we've been tipped the wink by the president-elect of the United States that this would be an appointment in the British national interest and that's what the government should do. They should swallow their own false pride, forget about their own mishandling of this arrangement, uh, 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 forget about their own mishandling of this uh, relationship and go ahead and appoint Nigel Farage. William Dartmouth, thank you very much.